I'm tired. You have seen this outfit and makeup a few times. I'm sorry, my eyes are red. I'm tired. But I need to film this because it's late. It's November 5th when I'm filming this and it, it was supposed to go up last week. So, mm. I need to do it. I haven't added any empties into this basket for November yet because I haven't finished any. <laughs> but these are all empties that I've finished in September, no, October. So I'm going to show them to you. I just finished them. Having to finish them in October, I didn't completely from full to low, you know, in sub uh, October. October, Elizabeth. October, not September. October. Did I say hi? Hi guys, this is an empties video and I'm going to t call them empties and declutters because I always declutter something, apparently. So, this time is no exception. So let's go into the declutters first and then we can move on to the empty products. I only have one body product kind of thingy that I'm going to declutter this month and that is a mosquito spray that we bought in Japan. I'm not going to use this. It is summer has passed. It was last year we were in Japan, so 2018. So I haven't used the last bit up. We have about here left, so it didn't cost anything. It was really really cheap and it worked. But this is going. I don't use it. We don't use it. We haven't used it all year. And we have a lot of mosquitoes in Denmark. So that just sells something. We don't use it and we don't want to. Um. Do I have any makeup declutters? Yes, I have. I have a few actually. Yeah, two. So the first makeup and makeup declutter I have is my lip gloss from Maybelline. I had this in my graveyard for Japan. And I just told you guys, I don't like this color anymore. It's not me. I don't want to force myself to use it. It is old. It's from 2014 for my birthday that year. My birthday is in December, so I'm turning 25. Uh, so... I don't want to use it and I don't want to pass it on to somebody because it's so old. It's kind of disgusting. So this is going into trash. I'm really, really, really sad about this. I don't like to declutter stuff and I don't want to trash stuff, especially. So, but I just have to with this one. 2014 is, is just too long ago. So this is going. An eyeliner. I had this eyeliner in my This Is Me project pan and for my first update I already decluttered something. <laughs> when I tested this out for Davy Simmons when I was an ambassador, this was really really nice. I liked it. It was pigmented, it was uh, it didn't it wasn't patchy or anything and it was really really I wouldn't say creamy but really easy to use even though it had this really big applicator. Um, I have used an eyeliner before that had this big applicator and it was nice and this was as well in the beginning But now it's just patchy and dry and I don't like it anymore and Nope, I don't want to use it. It is the W7 thick and thin felt eyeliner Yeah, it's nice. It's not that but this is just a little bit old so it has dried out a little bit so this is going, I don't want to force myself to use something I don't like. I told myself, every time I wore that eyeliner, I don't like it. I don't want to use it. And then I used it, and I hated the eyeliner look that I had that day. And that went on for five days to it. And I don't want to force myself to use up stuff that I don't like. Let me see how many makeup empties I have. I have four makeup empties, and then I have a nail polish. The nail polish that I have is my Essie Licorice. I was going to say eyeshadow. It is a nail polish. It is just a black one. I really enjoy this Essie nail polish. Essie is not my favorite brand, but I like the nail polish. The Project Polish Finale should be up when this goes up. And in that video, I t told you guys I stopped, uh, I stopped uh, Project Polish because of my nails. I got my nails done um, because my friend, she is going to be a nail tech. So this is done. Exciting, one less, not cruelty free, no polish out of my collection. Exciting. Let's just take this one. This was in my graveyard project plan as well. It is the Imitate Lip and Cheek Stain. This one right here. I'm so excited for this to be done. I have been working on this for so long. So, so long. It comes with this doe foot applicator and it's really easy just to swipe. And then I blend it out with a stippling brush and on my lips, uh, it's yeah, it's fine. I used it up. 
I'm really happy I would not buy this kind of product again. I don't like a stain in any shape or form. So I'm not going to buy that again. Nope, I'm not. Something I am going to buy again, I think, in the future. This is going to be kind of the first foundation when I run out of what I have. I'm going to buy again, I think. It was really, really nice on the skin, this one. This is the W7 HD Foundation 12 Hour and it is in the shade Ivory, I think. Buff. No. Yeah, buff. It is the lightest shade, as I could see. Um, I'm white as paper, so <laughs> that's tell something. I don't have tan left from summer, but I'm not at my paleest yet either. So this is really, really nice for me. It is satin finish, so it's not matte. It's not dewy. It's perfect. And it is a light to medium coverage. You can build it up, but it's not full coverage at all. Um, so it's really, really nice on the skin. It's lightweight and it's just, it looks natural. And I love that about a foundation. So this is one I am going to buy again. It is looking like this if you are curious. And yes, I scrape everything out of my foundations. I just do. Something I can't use anymore. I haven't had this in a project or anything. It is my Noble Nordic Lip Oil. And it is looking like this. It was a blue turquoise kind of teal, maybe, um, lip oil. It was it's really nice. And I already have a new one going. And it comes with this Doe Float applicator. It's really, really nice. I love this. So yes, I used this up without even trying. And it lives in my handbag. So that's that. I love this so much. And yes, I would repurchase because that is actually cool to free. As well as W7. This is the Catrice Absolute Eye Color in Ice White Open. This is a single shadow. And it was a white single shadow. And I really, really love this. This was really nice to highlight your brow bone. And it just did everything that it was supposed to do for a white eyeshadow. It wasn't insanely pigmented. But I don't like that in a in a white eyeshadow anyways i don't like a stark white one so this was really really perfect because it was in in between um yeah i enjoyed every single bit of it it came in a single compact and i had departed it with some other shadows from the same line a while ago i do have that video up i think i will link it somewhere I think it is linked in the description at all times, but yeah, I finished a single shadow, which is really, really awesome. Two skincare products. The first one is my AVIA face cream with Pro Vitamin B5 for normal and combo skin. This is really, really nice. It is a little bit heavy, um, so that is something you have to consider when you buy this. It's not heavy in that matter that it leaves a, a film on your face or it your skin becomes greasy or anything. Um, after you have applied this so this is really really nice because it's vegan 100% vegan allergy certified and zero uh, percentage of perfume made in Denmark so it's cruelty free it's perfect I really really like this I will buy it again but I do like something a little bit better from another brand that is also cruelty free and that is from this brand actually, but it's not the one that I'm going to talk about, the face cream. This is from Pure and Care with Witch Hazel Serum. I saw Jessica from Just Klee, um talk about Witch Hazel a lot. And I thought maybe that is what I need for my skin because my skin breaks out. If I eat healthy, not healthy, obviously, on my period, not on my period, I don't know what it is, but... So I thought Witch Hazel would be amazing because she says that is really, really great for your skin. <laughs> and I've heard some other people talk about it as well. So I th saw this Witch Hazel serum from Pure and Care and that is culture free and it's really, really nice. And I love it. And I actually have um, talked John into use this serum as well at night. I can't get him to use it in the morning. So every night he used this consistently I'm really proud of him and he uses the night cream that goes with it and well he got mine he we used this up together and then I bought him his own and one for me as well so he get he has his own now and he took over my night cream I just use another cream that I have in my collection without SPF so 
He uses the night cream right now, but I use like three fourths of the night cream and then he just got the rest. It's okay. I am going to use this again. I am using it again. I'm going to buy it again over and over and over. I can't live without it. And I'm actually going to look into the other serums that they have to use combined because I really want to use or try some vitamin C vitamin C oil no, serum. Is that what it is good for your skin? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a skincare freak, but I do care about my skin. Can we talk about my hair without mentioning the dye that I used? <clears throat> I don't feel good about this because it's not culture free. I said it, it's not culture free. I use dye that is not culture free. And I use two packages of this Swarovskov Country Colors uh, tone on tone color thing in Grand Canyon. This red color right here. I feel bad because it's not culture free and I'm trying to go culture free, but it's hair dye, so I think it's. It's fine. It's not something that lingers in my collection over time. Um, at some point, I really want to buy a hair dye that is cruelty free, but it's just so expensive it, it, if it's not Swartkov. I'm cheap, sorry. Another hair item that I have is my Batiste Stylist XXL Volume Spray. This was fine, not amazing. It it took my oils, it's fine. It has a white cast and my hair is not... Nope. <laughs> no, I don't want to have grey hair or light hair when I have dark hair and red hair. So, no thank you. That's just a fact. Something for my nails. It is the Beauty by Sacy Nail Polish Remover. I have no idea if this is cruelty free. I'm just keep... I'm going to keep buying it. Um, right now I'm not using any nail polish or nail polish remover because of my nails here. Everything is falling apart. I finished one of those. I have one still. It's cheap. It's really, really cheap. It is the cheapest I have found for this uh, amount. It has 250 milliliters for 12 crowns. So that's really, really cheap in normal. Uh, normal. The last item that I have for this empties video is my Yves Rosier Raspberry Peppermint lotion <laughs> lotion this is the one i had it in a project as you can see from the lines and it is completely empty well there is some in it but i can't get it out so i tried my best at least i really really like this this was so nice but i can't use it again i can't buy it again it's not cruelty free that's that the only cruelty free non cruelty free product that i've bought since i i went on this journey in in the springtime is my hair color so i think i'm doing really really great that is everything for this empties video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did give it a like subscribe down below if you are new here i would love for you to join my small family here on youtube and yes i hope you enjoyed and if you are curious about why i put a bunny here in the corner and that is because i want to mention by a logo that the product is cruelty free or not so that is why I will have my amount listed down below as the other months, so you can see my development. I think it is like an old roller coaster uh, from the amount, but that's just why. I I'm cheap. I buy inexpensive stuff when I can because I'm on a budget. So that is basically why. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and on to my next one. Please take care. Bye.